Hi there, I'm going to be talking a little bit more um, about bones and what we can learn as an archaeologist when we do discover all of these different types of bones. I'm not going to be focusing on the human bones, in fact we're going to be looking at animal bones instead because we find a huge amount of them and they still give us lots and lots and lots of different pieces of information and what we can find out from different times. So here in front of me I've got possibly three popular animals that we find quite a lot of. Uh, we've got cow, we've got horse and we've got a bit of pig here as well. Each of them tells a little bit more of a story about them to help us piece together jigsaw puzzles. So with the cow we've got three different sets of cows here. So we've got the cow's skull, we've got cow's feet and we have some cow's legs here. The cow's skull this one here um, can tell it's not in very good condition because as an archaeologist you can find it um, in fairly good condition and then sometimes we can come along and we do a tiny bit of damage when we are excavating it. However, what we can find are butcher's marks right here. So you can see that there is a knife mark here. So this shows us that this animal has been used uh, to be essentially eaten and then also to get the leather from it and uh, different food items like that but it has also got the top of its head cut away as well quite roughly uh, this is where the horns would have been horns for the Vikings and uh, throughout history have been used for very different things such as window panes, spoons, uh, cups and um, blowing horns uh, and you can see these marks on the cow to show that they have been cut off because they want the horns. So here I've got two cow's feet, slightly different in size and shape. This one is a nice healthy one, it's got no markings on it at all. This one, not so much. Unfortunately, this one had an infection um, and we can see sometimes the infections do uh, change the size and the shape of the bone. Uh, but with this, it's enlarged it just a little bit. So if we pop them on top of each other, you can see that that one is bigger than this one. Um, but um, it would have also shown that the cow would have been in a little bit of pain, so limping and um, possibly would have been the reason why it may have been killed. But then we can see how we as humans have changed uh, cows to adapt to our needs. So here are some cow's legs. Uh, this one is approximately a thousand years old. This one is modern, so you can see that over the years, over the thousand years, we have shaped it because we have bred them, we've given them different food, meaning that they have become larger and produce hopefully more meat. So we can see that evidence on the cow when we are excavating. The other thing that we can find when it comes to pigs is how they may have broken. So here again, I've got two pig's uh, legs. This one is nice and straight. This one, you can see there is a bit of a bow in the bone just there. So this shows us that the pig has had its leg broken, but then over time it has healed, but it's just healed in a slightly awkward way. So it would have um, may or may not have had a bit of a limp. Finally, we've got our horse. Now horses um, have been inc incredibly expensive creatures. At some parts in our history we have eaten them, so sometimes you can find butcher's marks, but the other thing that you can find and work out is the animal's age. So here these teeth are actually fairly worn down. If you look in the middle, just here, they are very worn down. So this shows us that this horse was quite old when it died, whereas if it was uh, much sharper, the teeth in the middle and throughout, it would have been much younger. So there's a huge amount of evidence and information that we can learn just by looking at animal bones if you know where to look.